Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing how to build five easy to build TNT player traps. Now these are all instant bombs, so there will be no reaction time. Once a person sets it off, they will either be scared or killed from the trap now i'll be moving from the left hand side to the right however right now on the screen all the names should be popping up with times next to them so if you want to go ahead and skip through the video to find one that you want to do the most you can go ahead and do that however i'm going to be starting up right now so the first trap up on the list is a furnace bomb once we try to cook something inside of this furnace we will be met with death so if i go inside furnace and let's say i want to cook a raw pork chop well, you get the gist of what's going to happen. Place it in and kaboom, we are dead. Next up on the list is my chest bomb. Now, this is a little bit different from my older ones. You could set this one up to either one, put items in and blow up, or two, take items out and blow up. So right now I have it set up. So if I put an item in, I will explode. So if I go inside this chest and let's say I place a redstone torch inside of it, well, I will be met with death yet again. Third on the list is my door bomb. So just like the same old song and dance, once we try to enter this door, well, things are about to get explodey. So if I go ahead and try to walk through this door, a minecart will fall and I will die. The fourth player trap is a landmine. Once we walk over that carpet, the landmine will be activated and everything will explode. So if I walk on top of this carpet, it will activate the landmine and we will be exploded into nothing. And last but not least is the any block bomb. Now this is my favorite one because all you have to do is just place a random block inside your friend's house. He'll think, oh, you just, someone just placed a block in here. Let me get rid of it. However, once he gets rid of that block inside his house, he will be met with an awesome surprise. So the first bomb we're going to start off by building is the furnace bomb. So place down a furnace and dig out a three by three area around your furnace by digging down two. So one, two, one, two, one, two around the entire furnace and then dig out the two blocks underneath your furnace. Once you have gotten that done, come to the back of your furnace and place in a redstone torch off the backhand side of your furnace. Then right underneath this redstone torch, we're going to place in a dispenser. Make sure it's a dispenser, not a dropper with a piece of redstone dust on top of it. This should be activated thanks to our redstone torch. Then right in front of your dispenser, we're going to place in three rails like this. One, two, three. Break the two rails on the outer hand sides and place two blocks in like so. Now, this is completely up to you. The more TNT and minecart you add here, the bigger the explosion is going to be. So the more you add, the more likely someone's going to die. The less you add, you're probably just trying to scare them. So go ahead and place in your minecarts with TNT on this rail. And then to keep adding more in, all you have to do is look right into this bottom corner. As you can see, I can see the hitbox of the rail. So just keep placing in minecarts with TNT. The more you add, the bigger the explosion. So I'm going to stop right there. There we go. And once you are done adding them in, go ahead and break the rail make sure you break that rail or will not work and then let's go ahead and just place another block here so that minecart with tnt doesn't move next what we're going to do is place our walling blocks of choice around this redstone torch so place a walling block here a walling block here and a walling block right above it now that our walling blocks are put into place, all we have to do is burn out this redstone torch. So what we're going to have to do is make our way back to the front hand side and place a piece of redstone dust above your furnace. Now, the quicker you break the redstone dust, the more likely it is to burn out the torch. So place your redstone dust. Once it stops blinking, break the redstone dust and your torch should be burnt out on the back hand side. Now, if yours is not burnt out and it's still on, just keep doing it, guys. All you have to do is place down the redstone dust. Wait till it stops blinking, break it, and it should be off. Now that our torch is burnt out, all we have to do is come back down here. Go inside of our dispenser and place in some flint and steel. Once your flint and steel is in place, now all we have to do is just fill up the bottom area so we can no longer see all of this redstone. Place in the rest of your wall and make sure you do not place anything next to this redstone torch. Anything placed next to the redstone torch will update it, turning it on and blowing up everything. This is how everything works here. So once that furnace gets updated by cooking, it's going to update that redstone torch thus blowing up everything. So if I go in the furnace and add some coal, and then I try to cook this raw pork chop, we are gonna be met with an awesome explosion. So place the raw pork chop in and kaboom. Second on the list is the chest bomb. So place down a chest, then right behind your chest, place in your walling block of choice. I will be using oak wood planks. Then we're gonna go ahead and put a comparator coming out of it. Now, once you got your comparator in the place, go ahead and dig down two blocks in front of it. One, two, then dig down two blocks right here. One, two, one, two, just follow the same path. I go like this and dig out all the blocks right underneath the chest and the one block underneath the comparator. We will be putting most of these blocks in when we go back. However, I just want to make it a lot easier so we could see everything. So then right in front of your comparator, we're going to put a block up like this. And then off of the block to the right hand side of your comparator, we're going to place in a redstone torch like so. Then right underneath your redstone torch, place in two pieces of redstone dust, one, two, and then put a dispenser coming out of your redstone dust. Now, just like the furnace bomb, we're going to be doing the same exact thing with the explosion part. So break out this block right here, break out this block right here and place in three rails like so. Next, we're going to break this rail right here 
and this rail and place a block in front of both sides of the rail so now this part is completely up to you the more tnt you add the bigger the explosion is going to be so place in a minecart with a tnt then look right down here at the corner of the rail and keep placing in more minecart with tnt the more you add the bigger the explosion is going to be once you think you have gotten enough minecarts with tnt in go ahead and break that rail by doing this and then place in a block right here so you can't hit that minecart with tnt over there next what we are going to do is come back over here and break out these two blocks like this break out another one and then break out this block right here we're going to go ahead and put a slab right here upside down with redstone dust so now all we have to do is get this current from here up to your redstone torch and just bring it down like this come underneath a block with another piece of redstone dust and then come up a block and now it should burn out the torch so this part is very easy to do all you have to do is go inside your chest and add in how many items you want however you're going to have to find out the exact number if you want to add an item take out an item for this thing to explode so what i like to do is add a bunch of non-stackable items in first and then take out our stackable items and place them in one at a time so let's see how much we need so we're going to just keep placing them in one at a time once you hear the dispenser going off that means you have hit the right number that you need to either take out an item or put an item in for it to explode so just keep placing items in until you hear that dispenser go off so let's go ahead we might have to place in the whole stack sometimes that happens so let's see how many items we have to put in here am i gonna have to place the whole entire stack in nope there we go see how it started going off so what we're gonna do is take out a few more items i'm gonna go back to 50 items real quick like this i'm gonna put it in one at a time so 51 52 53 54 55 and there we have it at 55 it went off so right now i have it set up so if i take an item out it's going to explode now if you want to set it up so where if you have to put an item in and it explodes all we have to do is just take out one of those items so now as you can see it went off so now if i add just one item in it goes off and it will explode however if i leave it like this and i just take one item out it will also explode so i'm going to set mine up so where if i put one item in it's going to explode so now that we know everything is set up go ahead and place a block right next to this torch first and then once this goes off go ahead and place in your flint and steel inside of your dispenser now we can go ahead and fill up the rest of this area so we cannot see anything and that is it you are done with the chest bomb so now if i go ahead and add just one item into this chest everything will explode so let's go ahead and just add in a minecart with let's add in stone we're gonna add one piece of stone and kaboom third on the list is the door bomb so go ahead and start off by building a frame for a door so come up three blocks then over two and then up two once again for your frame then come one block behind the frame and place in a door then right next to the door on this side we're going to place in a wooden pressure plate to the left hand side of the door so if i hit it the door should open up beautiful then right underneath this wooden pressure plate we have to place a piece of redstone dust so dig down two blocks right here and dig down two blocks right next to it and then right underneath the wooden pressure plate dig down one block and place in a piece of redstone dust now this block right here is going to have our dispenser so come back to this side right here and we're going to dig down two blocks one two and then dig out this block right here and our piece of redstone dust should be right there next we're going to place in a dispenser right here so go ahead and take out your dispensers and place a dispenser like this then right in front of our dispenser we're going to be putting our mine carts with tnt so just dig out this area right here dig out this area right here and then dig this one block out like so then we're going to place in three rails delete these two rails and put blocks right here one two and now we can go ahead and add in our mine carts with tnt so add a mine cart with tnt here and then just keep placing as much as you want this is going to be uh, the explodey part that we can go ahead and break this rail and now all we have to do is dig our way out of this area place a block right here so we do not move the mine carts with tnt and then just fill in the area with your blocks of choice next we're going to come right back here once again and we're going to add in our flint and steel to our dispenser so do not hit that wooden pressure plate or everything is going to explode and everything's going to be bad so we're going to place in our flint and steel place in our blocks of choice right here and now for the finishing touches go ahead and place two blocks above your door so one right here above your door and then one to the left hand side then on top of these two blocks place in two powered rails one two and then we're going to take out a normal minecart next place your normal minecart right here and then scoot it along until it's right in the middle of these two blocks so keep bumping it until it's right in the middle of both the blocks so there we go and now we can go ahead and break both of these blocks your minecart should fall on top of your door without completely falling down onto this pressure plate and now you are completely done so if i go ahead and try to walk through my door the door is going to open up the, the minecart's going to fall and everything well explodes fourth on the list is the landmine so go ahead and start off by breaking down a block and placing a piece of redstone ore in then we're going to dig out a three by three area around our redstone ore down two so one two one two around the entire thing and then dig out the block right underneath it next we can go off any side of this redstone ore it really doesn't matter we're going to place a block right here and put a redstone torch off the side of the block 
with a piece of redstone dust off the back this will burn out the torch next place a dispenser off any side of this redstone torch it really doesn't matter so i'm going to place my dispenser going this way right here let's just make it go this way like that then go ahead and take out your rails and right in front of your dispenser we're going to delete out this block right here this block right here and put in three rails now we're going to break out these two blocks like this place two blocks in and now we're going to place in our mine carts with tnt so go ahead and just keep adding in mine carts with tnt right into the corner of this rail so one two three four five six that should be more than enough and then make sure to break the rail next up all we have to do is make sure our torch remains burnt out so break that redstone dust and if it comes back on just do the same thing i've been doing the entire time place in redstone dust once it goes off break the redstone dust and it should stay off now do not place any blocks next to this redstone torch or else it will update it and everything will explode so go inside your dispenser and place in your flint and steel take out your blocks of choice and like i said do not place any blocks around this redstone torch also do not place any blocks off the redstone ore or it will update the ore blowing up everything so do not place it right off the ore so go around the entire thing without placing the blocks off the ore next we're going to take out our carpet place a carpet off the side of it and then place another piece of carpet off this carpet do not place it right on the redstone or everything will explode so look right off the side of this carpet like this or you know what let's just go ahead and use a regular block and then place a carpet right off the side of the regular block and everything should be fine so now if we walk over this carpet everything will explode so walk over it and kaboom and now last but not least is the any block bomb so what we're gonna do is just dig out a three by three area so one two one two making a three by three area this is going to be exactly the same as the landmine except it's going to be out of the floor one more next we're just going to come in the middle and place in any block we want also we're gonna have to use our flooring block of choice because this is where our redstone torch is going to be going so place in your redstone torch right here and we're going to burn it out like that then right underneath the redstone torch place in your dispenser and then right in front of your dispenser place in three rails like we've been doing this entire time break out these two rails place in two blocks take out your minecart with tnt the more you add in the more it will explode so go ahead and place in all your minecart with tnt in and then break that rail next what we're going to do is do not put your flint and steel in yet we're going to place our blocks around the torch see how it keeps updating every time we go into it so just place your blocks all the way around the torch now here comes the tricky part with this bomb we can't see if that redstone torch went off you can see though if you go ahead and put a slab in like this however if you can't use a slab you're kind of have to go on gut instinct so if we break this redstone dust and put it in just make sure you do it fast enough if you do it fast enough then every time it should work so place in the redstone dust once it goes off break it and it should be completely off so let's just make sure as you can see it is completely off so as long as you do it fast enough guys you should be absolutely fine now all we have left to do is go inside of our dispenser and place in our flint and steel once we have our flint and steel in place go ahead and place blocks around the entire area and that is it you are completely done there is the any block bomb so once this block gets broken we will get exploded so break the block and kaboom we are dead so there you guys have it that's how you build five simple tnt player traps if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys Boop. Peace!